Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. Today we will be discussing about gap year and Mirai, Lysel, and Rain from Study Vlogs PH will be joining me today and, and they will also be sharing their experiences to you and I hope you guys will enjoy. Ayan, so personally, yung main, yung main and only reason ko that I could think was I couldn't afford university at the time kasi um, we migrated dito sa Australia so we weren't permanent residents yet so super expensive kapag mag international student but to be honest I didn't really think na I will be taking a gap year kasi di ba sa, sa Pilipinas parang elementary, high school, college, dire-diretso parang ganun pero when you like I don't know, circumstances happen kaya ayun, yun yung reason ko ako po ano rin um Yung parents ko po, kasi yung online classes nga po, since nung senior high, we took um, parang a quarter ng online classes. And feeling po kasi nila hindi effective. And yun nga po, parang hindi nga rin po effective for me. So, they, person, mm-hmm. parang pinit po nila ako na, uh, take a gap year na since ano naman, magiging freshman ka pa lang. So, there was a university na na I was supposed to pursue na, pero napas ko na yung due date para sa scholarship. <laughs> kasi yung mahal kasi tuition so we were supposed to apply for a financial aid scholarship pero <laughs> hindi ko na abot yung due date so ano na lang na gap year na lang po <laughs> so i have taken two gap years in total so hindi talaga sila within my plan so lahat sila mm-hmm. unexpected din um it was more of like a need to do it because of some unforeseen circumstances like mm-hmm problems tapos we needed to migrate so i didn't have a choice but to stop and to take a gap year muna so personally planning is my most favorite part so siguro feeling ko yun yung pinaka organized in, in terms of my gap year experience um first thing i did i did a lot of research like, kasi hindi ko rin alam kung ano yung gap year. So, nag-research ako, ano ba pwede gawin, how long can I take a gap year, parang ganun. Tapos, I also list down all the specific things that I wanted to do. So, I really planned on working talaga. So, that's the main goal during my gap year. And then, traveling. And also, I wanted to do, like, short courses. I really wanted to do yung photography course during my gap year. So, yan yung mga plans ko. Another thing that I did to prepare, nilist down ko yung mga things that I really want to achieve. Kunwari, sa traveling, so I list yung heading as traveling. Tapos I made steps kung ano yung mga kailangan kong gawin. Like, how much do I need to travel? Saan ako pupunta? What places do I need to see? Saan yung kasama ko? Ganun, ganun. So, just to be more specific sa mga goals ko. Me po, ano, yung gap year po kasi, um, sa akin po, very unexpected po kasi hindi nga po planado. Parang bigla na lang pong nagko-COVID and then, yeah, you'll be taking a gap year. So, I don't know what to do po talaga kasi, wala, one year off, what will I do? So, yun po, nung mga first months po, so, nag-search nga din po kasi hindi naman po kasi familiar ako with taking a gap kasi all I do is study, study, study. So, hindi ko po ano gagawin. Ang ginawa ko na lang po is, ang plan po po is ano, mag-take na lang po ng online courses para tuloy pa rin po yung learning. So yun po, nag-take po ako ng online courses and then bala ko din po mag-apply. Kaso yung, nung na-discover ko po na pwedeng mag-internships, tapos na po yung mga deadline. So hindi rin po ako nakapag-apply. Mm, okay, so for me naman po, I took the time, my gap year time, to go back to my hobbies like, you know, dancing, drawing, Thus, I'm also taking the time to study again. I've been studying more, you know, advanced level Japanese since I was born and raised here naman. Thus, my vocabulary is limited only to be able to speak with my grandparents lang. And I also started, you know, yung YouTube, ganon. So yeah, that's what I've been doing so far. Um, as I said, um, Tapiri wasn't really in my plan, so he didn't shop planado. So I was kind of forced to do it, not by anyone, but by the circumstances that was happening at the time. So yung unang gap year na ginawa ko is nag-rest lang talaga ako, nasa bahay lang ako. Um, I focus on church, tapos nasa bahay lang lagi, ganyan. Tapos yung second naman, parang I was already becoming more mature. 
So the moment that I decided to just take a gap year, um, I knew that I needed to work. So I started looking for a job. So I did it for work lang ako, yung pangalawang gap year. Ko. Ako, actually, I could think of a few things that I regret. Pero yung main thing ko talaga is not saving up. Kasi nga, di ba nag-work ako? Pero to be honest, wala akong na-save during that time that I work. So, sobrang ano, sobrang regret ko talaga yon. Ako po, ano, since hindi ko nga po planado, so, ang, ang dami po eh, kasi hindi ko po alam yung gagawin ko. So, ang dami ko rin pong nagagpasan. Yung una po is, since may COVID nga po, hindi ko po nasulit yung time for traveling. So, dito lang po sa bahay all year. And then, next po is yung applying for jobs po. Sayang po kasi yung experience. So, yun po, sayang. So, sa mga future na mag years, planin nyo talaga. <laughs> so, one thing I regret po is not making my YouTube channel earlier. Kasi it's it's my YouTube channel that made me study more. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Kasi whenever I... Honestly, whenever I film or vlog, that's when I really study talaga. Pero on days, I'm not vlogging. Parang, I'm, I don't feel motivated to study. Yeah. Kasi, <laughs> parang pag, may, pag naka-video ka, it's Uh-oh. medyo pressuring na you really want yung time-lapse to look productive, ganun. So, it's, what push, it's what's pushing me to <laughs> study. Ako naman, I think I regret that I did not have it. Uh, kasi nung nag-work ako sa New Zealand, I earned enough money to allow me to travel. Pero I didn't do it kasi I was scared to travel alone. Parang mm-hmm. nag lang ako sa, ano din, sa family ko and sa mga kapatid ko and sa friends ko na nag-travel. So kung ayaw nila, parang ayaw ko na rin, ganyan. Oo. Saka din yung ano, hindi ako nakapag-save enough during my gap year. Um, nag-work ako pero... Ayan, walang nasip, nasip. Nakaipon ako, alam mo yun. Pero are not good enough. <laughs> I feel like, mas, sana mas ginalingan ko sa pagsisave ka. So, yun. Totoo. <laughs> yun. Ayun. <laughs> So, my gap year experience, it definitely increased my self-awareness. Kasi yun nga, as one of the advantages, mas nakilala ko pa yung sarili ko, like what I really want to do. Tapos, mas naging, ano ba, mas naging confident din ako. I, it actually made me go out more and then explore out of my comfort zone. So, definitely, yeah, it, it made me grow as a person. Same po ako na kay Ate Lysel. Parang this year po, parang napaka, parang nag-invest po talaga ako sa sarili ko. Like, dati po kasi all I do is study. Yun lang po, parang, oh, you need to have good grades, so study harder, gano'n. Ngayon po, parang chill lang po, pero I make sure na yun, meron po nagde-develop sa akin. Kasi po, parang dati, I'm very shy. But ngayon, nag-YouTube na nga. Like, nag, <laughs> nag-ano po talaga yung during the gap year i was able to you know take my time to talk to my grandpa na he's he's from his his age is our age gap is really wide thus he's a different you know nationality from me so i was able to talk to him and learn a lot plus this part i was able to reflect also na he also told me that it's good not to take a gap year if you feel like it as long as now you have a goal at the back of your head. You can take the time to change your habits to reach that goal. Thus, you know, for myself, I was able to learn how to relax. Naman din po. Like, to take a break talaga. Taking a gap year allowed me to really focus on myself. Tapos, it allowed me to discover um, who and what I really want to become. Um, kasi nung, after nung first gap year ko, nag-college ako agad kasi... Akala ko kasi hindi na rin kami matutuloy dito sa New Zealand. So, nag-school ako. The course that I took was an abrupt decision. So, hindi ko siya pinag-isipan ng mabuti. So, taking a gap year after that allowed me to think, to reflect on my future decisions that I will make. Um, I focus also on fixing myself. Tapos, it also allowed me to gain the confidence that I need before going to university. Hundred 
recent, yun. yes. Oo. Oo ako. Maganda talaga siya. Like, it has a lot of advantages over disadvantages. So, definitely recommend taking a gap year or even just consider it to start with. Mm-hmm. Ako po, ano, parang it really depends pa rin sa first one. Pero for me po, parang okay lang. It's not a bad thing. Pero if need po talaga, I didn't go with it po. Parang, yun, yun nga po, nare-recommend ko. Pero hindi ka na po pinapromote. I mean, it, <laughs> kasi yung tao po, parang iba-iba po yung situation. Financially, mentally. So, it really depends on the person. Pero okay po talaga. <laughs> yeah. So, if you feel like you need a break, then just take it na lang. Para okay lang naman. Yung opinions, opinions lang po kasi masyadong naaano yung tao. Like, oh, bakit kasi mm-hmm. tigil? Pero it's okay. Yeah, I, I mean, if, if you're really sure kung ano yung courses na ititake mo, tapos you have financial capability to sustain your education, then go. You don't have to take a gap year. Pero I recommend taking a gap year, especially to those people na unsure kung ano yung gusto nilang ititake. Or yung mga tao lang na gustong mag-break. Mental break, ganyan. Break from studies or if you are financially incapable, um, you don't have to force yourself to study again. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to work first. It's okay to travel kung kailangan, kung, kung gusto mo. It's really okay to do a gap year. Yes. It's okay. Natatakot lang po kasi yung iba, but it's okay. Tips, tips, definitely preparation. I think it helps a lot. Pero I wouldn't say na to rely on preparation. Kasi ako nga, dami kong preparation. Pero hindi naman nangyari na actually may gap year. But definitely it helps. So just prepare. Know what you want to do before taking a gap year. And definitely, I think, set a timeline. Para hindi ka unmotivated to go back to study. Same po. Parang plan talaga. Kasi para may flow ka pa rin na susunod. Kasi if you just ano, go with the flow. Parang masyadong boring po pag nasa middle ka na ng gap year mo. Parang, ah, oh, so unmotivated ka na. Kasi hindi mo na alam gagawin mo. So, plan ahead po para you know what to do during your gap year. Para hindi masayang. Oo. Okay, so, my, tip, my tips are to make yourself busy pero learn how to balance your productivity and rest. And also, learn how to develop healthy habits habang you have all the time to be able to actually use those habits. Okay, um, keep yourself busy. Um, find a new hobby kung kaya mo. Try something new. Tapos you can reflect, meditate, hang out with your friends, your family. Uh, if you have the means, you can travel, you can work. Kung wala ka namang pang travel, you can work. Kasi yun yung lahat ng ginawa ko during my gap year and it really changed me. So I'm very glad na I took the gap year. I think I'll add, I have to add another thing on how to survive a gap year kasi I know how intimidating it can be especially pag marami negative people around you. So one tip would be to care more about yourself and not what other people say. They could tell you na, ay, bakit nag-gap year ka? They can judge you all the all they want. Pero at the end of the day, you are doing it for yourself. So definitely, just don't mind all the negativities around you. Yeah. Oh, totoo po yan. Kasi parang ngayon po, sy- syempre nasa gap year ako, parang hindi naman po alam lahat ng kilala ko na nag-gap year ako. So hindi ko rin po alam kung ano opinion nila. But yeah, oh. wag mo na lang i-ano yung opinion nila. Ano, in, ano lang. Parang you can, ano ka sa M, marami po silang masasabi sa ginawa mong decision. But then, you, you can only control what you put on your mind. Now, it's okay. I can make it worth it. Ganun. Ah, ang hirap nito. Paano ko ba? Um, actually, I wasn't very sure. I think parang na-immune lang din ako na not to care about what other people say. Tapos, oh, I would say na every time, kasi may group chat kami ng mga friends ko, tapos lahat sila dumiretsyo ng uni. So, parang yun nga, every time they talk about uni, hindi kasi, hindi kasi ako makarelate. So, left out ka talaga. So, what I did, I did other stuff na just to keep myself busy. So, that time I had my first dog. So, definitely parang wala. Nabuhos dun ng time ko. Tapos, ayun, I worked tapos did did traveling so that is probably one thing that they didn't do so i just console myself na oh, may mga bagay na nagagawa ako na hindi nila nagagawa so ganun tapos i just keep feeling positive na one day babalik rin naman ako sa uni so ayun same po parang 
naging pinagginawang busy ko na lang po yung sarili ko. Kasi nga po, katulad po, like, pag nag-chat po or video call or pag nag-meet po kami ng friends ko, like, yung topic po nila, ah, oh, ang hirap ng subject na to, gano'n. Sabi ko, ah, hindi ko na naman nararanasan. Yun po, yung mga kwento nila about their university, gano'n. Tapos tatanangin po nila ako, oh, ikaw, ano ba? Lak mo, gano'n. Sabi ko, ah, mag e na naman ako, gano'n. So, ano yun lang po, parang maging busy ka na lang, do all you want na lang, para as, at least, nakakonsume mo yung time off to enjoy them. Kasi parang, mm-hmm. ang hirap talagang ano, ma-left out. Lalo na yung buong circle ko, parang nag-university agad sila. So, yun, feeling left behind talaga. Pero parang okay na rin. Ano, for me naman po, majority ng batch 2020 kasi puro 01, 02. Tapos, meron mga 2000. Pero sa akin po, Bahan. Like, most of my childhood friends kasi, they're in the lower batch. They're, sa, they're nasa batch 2021. So, naisip ko na if I take a gap year, I'll be batchmates naman with my best friends. So, parang, wala lang. I was happy naman to be batch, to be able to be batchmates with them soon. Oh, naman. Um, of course, during my first month, um, it, was, it wasn't really easy. It was very depressing for me. Um, to be honest, <laughs> especially so, my, batchmate, my, my batchmate get the degree, tapos nakatoga sila, ganyan. Seeing them graduate and entering their new phase of their life, pero because of the help of my family, my friends, I was able to overcome the feeling of it. You know, if, if, even though na graduate na yung mga friends ko, um, they, didn't, they didn't let me feel na I was left behind. Um, very supportive din naman sila sa akin, uh, especially yung family ko. Also, I met a lot of people na they are in the same situation as me. So, parang nakaka-relate kami sa isa't isa. <laughs> <laughs> Spending time with people who have the same situation as you really helps a lot. Um, Uh, also, earning money during my gap year gave me that advantage because I was able to travel to kind of distract my mind from being depressed. <laughs> you know, if, if the feeling of missing out or being left be- behind starts to consume you, just make yourself busy, do something worthwhile, and try to distract yourself from it. And I think, Ate Shik, yung sinabi mo na yung mga kabatchmate mo, they didn't make you feel left behind. Tapos, if ever, kung ganun nga yung mga friends mo na instead of pull, like, ano ba, pulling you up with them na not to, feel, to, not to make you feel bad about missing out, kung hindi nila pinaparamdam yun sa'yo, I think maybe you're in the wrong circle. Kasi, di ba, kapag dapat tutulungan ka nila, so maybe something to consider kapag ganun. Uh, Opo, oh, kasi mga friends ko, parang parang we have, yung course po namin, si Mahaunting, so sila po parang nagsisend na, oh, ito, aralin mo to kasi ang hirap nito. Like, ganun, parang na-appreciate ko po talaga kasi parang kahit nag-stop ako, parang support talaga sila. Yung classmate ko pa, neighbor ko lang po siya. Nandyan lang siya. <laughs> Tapos, ano, yung sa group chat ng mga classmates ko na kaklasmate ko, sinasabi ko palagi na I feel guilty na all of them are going to school na pero like they would tell me na it's okay to take a break naman so yun din po like I feel I feel reassured na yeah. na I feel okay lang um, ako yes definitely kasi minsan nakakaingit talaga pero I think mas na comfort ako to the fact na I was earning money at that time so I think I'm I was I'm more independent not to compare myself but I'm more independent than I was that uh, like other times in the past so mas ano feeling ko mas okay sa akin na I'm earning my own money and paying for my own university parang ganun same po at first po talaga parang uh, ganun ang lakas po ng atake nung hello mga college na sila ganun but then parang pag inisip mo din po talaga yung pwedeng mong gawin parang okay na rin kasi parang masyado naman kung anong hindi magiging jealous sa kanila. Kasi, syempre, mas kagraduate sila ng una, una sila magkaka-work, gano'n. But then, nung parang inisip ko po talaga, parang nag-reflect po talaga na ako na talaga, peer na talaga. Parang, nag-isip na lang po ako nung pwede kong gawin para at least kahit pa paano po, hindi po talaga masayang yung time ko. So, for me uh, naman po, I mean, I have a choice naman po to like pursue university here or 
to pursue in Japan. But of course, you know, all my Japanese relatives, they're old na. Tas I feel like if I pursue university here, parang I'm just forgetting about them. So it's really, it really has to be me to put up. I really have to put in effort, you know, to keep in touch with Japan. So I know naman na it's, it's going to take longer for me to be able to study in Japan. So parang I'm jealous naman na they got to study earlier than me. Pero taking the gap year, I, re- I realized na being able to take the time to prepare naman for my actual dream. It's not really making me, it's making me feel you know, okay, na instead of being jealous, I'm happy na they're able to study naman. Ako then, of course, I got really jealous um, because there, um, the reason why I took a gap year right after high school graduation was because um, we didn't have the financial capability. My, per- my parents couldn't sustain me if I took my university right after high school. So um, I cried many times because I feel like I was wasting my time. Mm-hmm. And seeing them graduate, di ba? Nakaka-jealous talaga yun. There are times on graduation month na I just don't open my social media because I can see them changing their profile pictures. Oh so, my God! Maka-relate oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lalo ko nga nga Bishik, like yung parang ko, yung sa profile ko sa Facebook, yung parang may frame ng university nila. Hi, I'm Jada. <laughs> I'm this year. So, alam, di ako lang hmm. ata hindi nagpalit. <laughs> so yun, grabe batchmates ko, yung graduation time nila, yun yung time na nag-gap year pa, pa lang ako eh. So, nakikita ko talaga yung mga graduation photos na ang sakit. <laughs> Oo, oh, sakit so, talaga noon. Hmm. Nakakaingit na kayo na tisik, totoo. I'm with you. Pero, magagawa natin yun soon, don't worry. <laughs> Oo. <Oh. laughs> And then, kung pag-aisipin na lang natin na, oh, nauna sila, so meaning, mas worth it yung hintay kasi nahuli tayo. <laughs> mm. Parang ganon. Kaka po ano, yung di ba po, nag, yung mga friends ko, parang nag-go to UNIF agad sila. And then ako, parang yung nakikita ko yung mga paghihirap nila, ganun yung mga opinion sila sa school nila. Parang na, nag, ano pa po ako, nagka-advantage to, ano, parang nakita ko yung mga, um, kung paano ba gumalaw yung gantong school. O, sa gantong school, paano sila mag-online classes? Okay ba? Ganun. Parang mas nakita ko pa po, ano yung best school for me po? Based on their opinions. Kasi online classes po ngayon, mahirap yung paano ba ikaw matututo talaga. So nakita ko buong sang school po talaga yung ah, mukhang dito po ako. Oo. Tapos diba kapag din sa may mga friends din tayo na nagbibigay ng advice, ganito, ganito pala kahirap, dapat ganito yung gawin mo. So we also have that idea na ay, dapat hindi ko pala gawin to. Parang ganun. Huwag ka dito sa school ko. <laughs> oh, sige, thank you sa advice. <laughs> Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope na may natutunan kayo. And if you still have some doubts, some questions, you can um, reach out to us anytime. Um, just PM us sa Instagram. Uh, this video is in four parts as well. Um, you can check out Mirai's titles and Rain's channel para sa ibang part ng video na to. <laughs>